Hello and welcome to a new video about safety. This time we are going to talk about IP protection code. IP code. Okay. In this matter, IP does not really have, doesn't really mean internet protocol. Usually we know IP address from networking and so on. Here we have IP codes. The original meaning was international protection and Especially in English-speaking countries, there is also the term uh, ingress protection code. Yeah? So, international or ingress protection code. IP. So don't fight about this if, if it's called international ingress. If we're talking about eye protection code, everything is fine, okay? Because actually we meant the same. Yeah? What is an IP code? Yeah? IP code consists of the two letters I and P yeah? and then two digits. Digit 1, X and digit 2 X. Yeah? This and each of these digits has a meaning. Yeah? Let's first talk about the first. Yeah? So, first digit. If it's a zero, it means no protection. Well, by the way, IP codes are for electrical devices, electrical devices, huh? not any other harmful device, huh? electrical devices. So zero provides no protection against touching. Huh? First digit, this is the touch. Huh? I have to touch. No protection. Zero. One, if there is a one, IP1, whatever, then we are protected for uh, elements which are thicker than 50 millimeters. If you have something which is thicker than 50 millimeters, you cannot reach the electrical part. One. Usual device or usual thing is the back of your hand. So with the back of your hand, you cannot, you're protected. With the finger, not, because the finger is thinner than five, I, I mean, usually fingers are thin, I mean, this maybe, <laughs> usually the fingers are thinner than five millimeters, uh, 50 millimeters, then we would have IP protection code two, huh? this is 12.5 millimeters and a length of 80 millimeters, okay? If something is thinner, I might touch it. If something is longer, I might touch it as well. Yeah? So usually this is protection against touching with the finger because the finger is usually shorter than this 8 centimeters and broader than this 12.5 millimeters. So I cannot touch it. Okay? IP2. Yeah? IP3. Yeah? 2.5 millimeters and a length of 100 millimeter. Yeah? 2 to 5 millimeters, it's really not that big. Here, it's a protection against touching with tools. Yeah? Screwdriver, uh, most of the screws and so on. Yeah? You cannot touch the harmful thing with a tool. That's three. Four. One millimeter. Yeah? Length, 100 millimeter. This is with a wire. Okay. So you're protected against touching the harmful thing with a wire. Of course, if you're using a long wire, it's a, but it's really tiny one. Yeah? Then there is five. Yeah? Dust. Dust protected. However, it may, it may get in there the dust, yeah? but not in a harmful amount. Yeah? Even in a dusty area, the operation shall be still given. Yeah. And six is finally dust sealed. Yeah. 
IP6 whatever yeah, means there will not get any dust inside, not even a small amount. That's the first digit. It's against touch. The second digit, second digit, it's about water, water protection. Zero again means no protection. Okay. One means protected against dripping water. Dripping water falling from up to down, dripping water. Oh, this might be some roof or some little cover that the dripping water cannot touch the electrical part. Two, also dripping water. However, at already at the tilt angle of the case or whatever, 15 degree tilt, okay, possible. So even if it's tilted or the water is not dripping straight, but with 15 degrees, yeah, dripping water, yeah, protected. IPX2, three, second digit three, would then be spray water, okay. up to a tilt level of 60 degrees. Okay. Spray water, for whatever reason, yeah, up to 60 degrees, IPX3, yeah, protected. Four, splash water. So basically water splashes or water sprays are from any angle, yeah, any, any angle can be simply from all directions, okay? Then there's five, water jets. If the, if the garden hose, bring it, water jet. Also any angle. Six, strong water jets, okay? Then you can really mark it, yeah? also from any angle. IPX6, what this means. Seven yeah? is immersion underwater, yeah? up to one meter. Yeah? Uh, but only, only time limited. So I can simply get it in water and get it out again and it's still working. Eight, it's immersion. I can really bring it under water and it will be no harm. And finally there's nine. This is heavy and hot jets. High pressure cleaners and some really hit it. This is then IP9, okay, IPX9. That's it. Yeah. These the two values are meaning. You see, the higher the number is, the more protection there is yeah. against touch and, and dust and against water. Yeah. Usual, usual things in automation technology are IP. 54 or IP64, something like this. These are very usual standards. Most of the equipment fulfills. Sometimes, sometimes you see that there is written IPX5. And this X made, make it look even more fancy than just IP, IPX, it's not IP, it's IPX. However, you know this X here only means it's not defined. Huh? The first letter, there's, there is no information given about the protection against touching, only against water. Huh? So this means nothing, this simply means no info. 
So it's not particularly fancy. It's just, I'm oh, not going to tell you. you know, or it's, I'm not going to tell you. It already sounds a little bit with tendency. It maybe means it's not really important. Okay. IP codes. Huh? International progression, uh, protection, ingress protection, whatever. Huh? These are the meanings of, of the letters. Huh? Select, usually if you have a tender to fulfill, it's given. Yeah? If you are the one who produces the tender, think about what, you're, what you want to have. Okay? Yeah, that's it. Safety. Yeah? We're, it's the last video in this series about plants and safety and so on. There is, of course, more. Yeah? Like always, like always, if you dig in deeper, it's getting more interesting and more complex. Yeah? But for an overview, I think that's okay. Yeah? If you know this, you can help yourself getting further into. So, all is left for me to say is thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.